Hey, what's up all you fans of Halloween Horror Nights? Welcome to Crazy About Disney, and today I have an awesome video. Um, I'll be just going through all of the things of Halloween Horror Nights 25. HHN 25? 25? Um, yeah, so I'll be going through each announcement for houses. Um, not right now. I'll be doing the, um, the scare zones and, um, shows first, and then I'll do the, uh, houses. Um, yeah, I wanted to make sure when I did this, um, that all of the, uh, the houses were announced. So, here is the first scare zone. Um, this one's actually pretty cool. I'm interested in this one. S Psycho Scarapy Unleashed. Psychotherapy, but instead they changed it to Psycho Scarapy. Pretty cool. Um, the criminally insane inmates at Shady Brook Asylum have escaped and unleashed their horror on a... Halloween block party in the streets of New York. Come join the party goers as inmates kill for the best Halloween costumes for their very own special costume contest where you'll be the judge. Oh, and this will be one of the bloodiest scare zones ever. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Um, the second um, scare zone is called Icons HHN. <clears throat> it's time to take a look back in history and come face to face with the icons from Halloween Horror Nights past. Iconic characters from events 25 years oh from the uh, from the 20 event Characters from the 20... Iconic characters from the event's 25th year history, such as the caretaker, the storyteller, the director, and more will be found roaming the streets of Hollywood. <clears throat> Scary Tales Steampunk is the third Scream Zone. This year will bring to life our most horrifying, scary tales, creatures, or characters with a new twist. This steampunk inspired version of Scary Tales is sure to leave you screaming. Uh, yeah, that was the th third Scream Zone, so this is the fourth. Evil's Roots. It's time to be immersed in Halloween's most evil traditions in the Scare Zone located in Central Park. Here you'll find the event's traditional jack-o'-lanterns in the air as you encounter evil fairies, humanoid bats, scarecrows, and more. And last but not least, All Night Dine-In Double Feature. Um, yeah, so, um, it, it's a double feature of horror at the Cary Drive-In Movie Theater. Wander down the streets of San Francisco and you'll come across this theater that has been named Dying due to the gruesome murders that have occurred. So that's pretty cool. And on to the shows at Halloween Horror Nights 25. Um, there will be two shows for this year. The first one 
is The Carnage Returns. Jack the Clown is taking Halloween Horror Nights back into the blaze of murderous mayhem with his army of feared followers and his campaign in Carnage. Remember, Jack always has the last laugh. And the second show is Bill and Ted's Excellent Halloween Adventure. Of course, they're back in this all-new Halloween adventure. Um, it has to be seen to be believed. Party on, dudes! So that's pretty cool. That's the Scare Zones and Shows. And now on to the mazes, or the houses that, um, for this year. <clears throat> so the first house was announced, um, on June 10th, 2015 at 11 a.m., uh, and that house, as they announced, was Freddy vs. Jason. Taking elements from the 2003 slasher thriller film Freddy vs. Jason, entertainment, art, and design teams at Universal Orlando Resort will drop guests into the middle of this epic battle. Um... Fans of the franchises, both A Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, have always argued which big baddie would win in a fight, Freddy or Jason. Uh, the 2003 movie gave the fans a taste of this battle royale. At this year's event, both Jason and Freddy will be attacking guests from all sides, as the two villains try to tear each other apart, stabbing, slashing, ripping through each other, from Crystal Lake to 1428 Elm Street, there will be many surprises capturing famous film moments. The second house was announced on July 16th, 2015 at 12.05 a.m. And that house is Insidious. What Universal is doing for Halloween Horror Nights 25, they're going to be celebrating the th trilogy of by opening the door, red doors to the further. For those new to the su successful franchise, Insidious has scared audience members for the last six years, and all three films have are represented in this year's event. You'll come face to face with evil dungeons of the further. The long-haired fiend, the lipstick face demon, the bride in black, and the newest evil, the man who can't breathe. The path through this terrifying maze can only be accomplished by going into the further, the mysterious world of the spirits. Many of those spirits crave the souls of the living, and while guests are dodging and grasping hands of death, the further will disorient any who travel into this great beyond. The third house that was announced was on July 30th, uh, 2015 at 10 a.m. And that house was... Uh, The uh, Walking Dead. We're putting guests right into the middle of the 
Season 5 of The Walking Dead. There will be new disgusting walker looks and immersive environments that will thrill new guests and longtime fans. You'll encounter everything from the freshly turned Terminus Butcher, who has slashed the throats of many victims, to the walker with a flare filled face lighting up the storm ravaged forest. Some of the most glorious moments will be captured from. Season 5, a grenade blast pins an unlucky soul to the wall as walkers feast on the still alive survivor, and one of the most horrific scenes will play out as you try to wind your way past the semi-truck walker traps. Now this is the interesting part. Um, you'll also have to keep to the dry path and steer clear of the engorged faces of walkers that wade through the water of the food bank basement. Yes, you'd heard correctly. It will be the first for the event. We will have walkers attacking through the waist-high waters of the flooded food bank. Um... The fourth house that was announced um, was on August 17th, 2015 at 12 a.m. And that announcement was for The Purge. Are you ready to face the chaos of The Purge again? Because The Purge is returning to Halloween Horror Nights 25. And this year, we're taking it to the next level. You may remember our wildly su successful Purge Scare Zone from last year's event, complete with violent and chainsaw-wielding citizens. This year, prepare yourself for the same turmoil and more as you find yourself living in your own purge night within the confinements of an all-new house experience. You'll be hunted by dozens of masked vigilantes who will stop at nothing to purge as they're entitled. And just like in the film, you'll either fight to survive or to succumb to the chaos of the Purge. Good luck. The fifth house that was announced was on August 27th, 2015 at 12 a.m. And uh, it's a returning house, which was pretty cool. Um, and that house is an American Werewolf of London from... Halloween Horror Nights 2013? You'll find yourself back on the English moors as you fend off attacks and witness bone-crunching transformations. The best part? The wolf pack has expanded. And they're going to be even more ferocious with a whole new look. So that's pretty cool. They're going to have a new look. A whole new look to these crazy uh, werewolves. So. I'm excited for that. Um, that was a good house. That was a good, that was a very good house. From uh, HHN. 23. So the rest was announced at the same time that they announced an American Werewolf of London on August 27th, 2015. Um, and these are the original houses that they've come up with for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, Jack presents 25 Years of Monster and Mayhem.
Jack is back, and he invites you to join him for this ultimate reunion uh, in horror. Universal Classic Monsters will attack from the shadows. Meat grinding maniacs will rip every scream from your throat. And ghosts of Halloween Horror Nights Past will stalk you around every corner. You'll find yourself dying to get in and relive your most haunting nightmares of memories from the past 25 years of Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, the next house was Run, Blood, Sweat, and Fears. Congratulations! You've been selected to be one of the lucky contestants on Run, the most popular and brutal television show in the world. In your house, you'll have to try and avoid the skilled assassins known as the Reapers as you work through death obstacles designed to mangle and shred, all for the announce an amusement of the audience watching from home. The good news is the now run-down Hellgate prison has been selected as the ba battleground. Good luck. Um, this next house is interesting. It is called Asylum in Wonderland 3D. So. I'm looking forward to this house, so that looked pretty cool. The new volume of Scary Tales has been released from an ultraviolet comic, Asylum in Wonderland. This time around, you'll follow the White Rabbit through the looking glass and into a murderous 3D wonderland. All of the beloved characters will come to life in this chaotic world with an insane, nightmarish twist. You'll be left asking one question. Is it all really in Alice's head? Or are all the images you'll see real enough to kill you? So I think that's that's a pretty interesting uh, house. And uh, this house will be the last house. It's called Body Collector's Recollection. They have returned. The body collectors are on the hunt for the human parts they so-called desperately need. Emerging from the darkness in the cold winter night, they descend upon the unknowing inhabitants of Shady Brook Asylum. Get ready to face your fears. With sharpened blades as the screams of their recent victims echo through the halls. So that, that to me, um, cause Shady Brook. So, what's the other one that has Shady Brook in it? Uh, Psycho Scarapy Unleashed. Cause it said the critically insane inmates at Shady Brook Asylum have escaped and unleashed their horror onto a Halloween block party in the streets of New York. So that's, per that's pretty cool that they're emerging a house and kind of a scare zone um, at the event. So maybe if we go into the house we would know what's kind of going on in the scare zone, or I think the scare zone is kind of like the uh, what you would call um, what happened beforehand and body collectors recollection is um, sort of the uh, what happened after. I don't know how that would work, 
but it, they both have Shady Brook Asylum in there, and uh, yeah, it both says, uh, you know, so I don't know how that's going to be planned out, but um, yeah, it should be pretty interesting at this year's Halloween Horror Nights 25. And, um, so I can't wait to show you guys all the crazy houses, the scare zones, the screams, the nightmarish craziness of what is Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. Somebody's, somebody's hacking.